In order to conduct presentations, we normally make use of softwares such as Microsoft PowerPoint, Adobe Flash, etc. But is it possible to conduct a presentation without using any of the software tools? That is only by using AutoCAD? The answer is yes. In this video, I deal with the topic of conducting a presentation using AutoCAD software. If you want to conduct such a presentation, you have to first create slide files from an existing drawing. What is a slide file? A slide file in AutoCAD is defined as a snapshot which is captured from a drawing and such files can only be viewed and user won't be able to edit the objects in such a file. And slide files takes very less memory space. So let's create slides from this drawing. Now I would like to create a slide out of this entire drawing. For that I should give a command M slide which stands for make slide. Now it will give you a create slide file dialog box. It will ask you for a file name. I will just keep the files on the desktop. So I will click on desktop. I will give the file name as v1. You can give any suitable name. And such files will have an extension of sld which stands for slide. Next I would like to capture a snapshot of this elevation. So I will just magnify this area. Now I will again execute the same command m slide. I will keep the slide files on the desktop. I will call it as v2 and the extension is sld. Next I will take this drawing and I will take a snapshot of it using the same sequence of steps. And I will repeat this for the same sequences for the ground floor as well as for the first floor plan. Now when you look at the desktop you can see that you have created slide files starting from V1 to V5. Next I would like to view the slide. For that I would like to open a different file. I'll just click on new and this is a new drawing file and I'll give a command v slide to view the slide. Now this is an empty file but still you can see that when you select this particular slide file and give open you will see the slide appearing on the screen. And this is not a drawing file this is just a snapshot. So if I give a command for example if I try to edit the objects in this I'll take erase and I would like to erase these dimensions. Now you have got the message that zero found because you won't be able to edit the objects. From this it's clear that when you create a slide AutoCAD captures least number of vectors from the various objects in a drawing just to paint the picture of the drawing on the screen. Now I want to clear my screen and get rid of the slide file. For that you can simply type the letter R using the keyboard. R stands for redraw. The redraw command clears the display. Now let's conduct a presentation using these slides. If you were to conduct a presentation using vslide, you have to execute the vslide command 5 times to see these individual slides. Suppose if I want to repeat the same sequence of steps over and over again, then you have to give the same vslide command repeatedly. See not a cat. Whenever you want to automate the execution of a series of commands, you can make use of a concept called script. What exactly is a script file? A script file in AutoCAD is defined as an ASCII file in which you simply type in all the repeatedly given commands in the right order to automate the execution of these commands. Now I'll explain the concept of script with a simple example so that it will be more clear to you. I would like to create a rectangle with a circle at the center. So I'll click on the rectangle command. Now I'm asked to give the lower left corner. I'll keep the lower left corner at 0, 0. Now I'm asked to give the upper right corner. I'll give the upper right corner at 12, 9. Okay, so I've created the rectangle. Next I'll create a circle right at the center. So I'll click on circle command, choose center radius option. When I'm asked to give the center point, I'll define the center point in terms of absolute coordinates. 
So I'll give the X coordinate as 6 because the length of the rectangle is 12 and I'll give the Y coordinate of the rectangle as 4.5 because the height of the rectangle is 9. So I'll define the center point coordinate as 6, 4.5. Now I am asked to give the radius. I will give the radius as say 3 units. Now this is a required circle. Next I will give a zoom extends. So I will type the letter Z for zoom. Then I will type the letter E for extends. Ok then I will give enter to repeat the zoom command. And I would like to get a 20% reduction in magnification. So I will give a scale factor of 0.8x. So this is how you zoom based on a scale factor. So in order to reach on to the stage, I have given a number of commands. I have started with rectangle, then I have drawn the circle, then I gave a zoom command. If you do it manually, you have to go through all the stages. But if you do the same activity using a script file, you can type in all these commands in a script file. Let's do that. Script files are ASCII files. So I will minimize AutoCAD, then I will right click at the desktop. Then I'll open a new text document because script files are ASCII files. So you can open these files using notepad. Then I'll give a file name. Since this being my first script file, I'll call it as my first. You can give any suitable name. And the extension should be .scr. So you should replace this txt with scr. Then just give an enter. Now the windows will ask you do you want the file extension to be changed, I will give yes. Now the icon of the file get changed to a script file. Just double click to open it. Next you can just type in all the commands in the same order of your input in AutoCAD. Now I have started with the rectangle command, so you can give rectangle first. Then it starts from 00, zero the lower left at 00. zero. You have to memorize all the prompt sequences. Now the next corner is 12,9. Then followed by a circle command. So you have to type circle. So in a script it is better to type the entire letters corresponding to a command. Okay, You can avoid aliases or abbreviations. Then the center at 6,4.5. Then the radius at 3. Then zoom command. So I'll type zoom. Extends option. So you can type the first letter E. For sub options you can use the abbreviations which are given in caps. Then again zoom. 0.8x. Then give an enter. Let's save this file. So I'll click on file and save. Now I would like to execute the script file from within AutoCAD. Now I have opened AutoCAD software. Now I will open a blank file. This is just a blank drawing file. Now I would like to execute the script file. If you want to execute the script file, you should give script command using the keyboard. Now you can choose the script file name which I have created just now, which is my first. Just select that file and click on open. The moment you click on open, you will see all the sequence of commands getting executed almost in real time. So that is the beauty of this concept. So likewise, using a script file, you can automate execution of the frequently used commands to accomplish a task in AutoCAD. Now using the same concept, we are going to create a script to conduct a presentation using a slide, which we call as a slideshow. So let's create a script for that. So I'll just right click. I'll go to new and uh, text document and I'll call it as demo.scr. I'll give yes. Now double click to open it. Now I'll give vslide to view the first slide. So I'll give vslide v1. Dot sld was the name of the first slide. Now I'll just give an enter. Then after the display of the first slide, I want the presentation to pause for 5 seconds so that I'll be able to give some narration or description. So I'll give a command called delay. Then you have to specify the time in milliseconds. 
Since I want the presentation to pause for 5 seconds, I should give 5000. Next, I'll select these two entries in the script file. Then I'll press Ctrl C to copy it. Then I'll just give an enter. Then I'll give Ctrl V four times. Because altogether we have created five slides. Then I'll edit this V1 to V2 and V3. And here I'll edit this to V4 and V5. Now when the control of the script reaches onto the last entry, I want the control to go back to the first slide. There is a command for that. It is called R script or rewind script. R script command brings the control back to the first entry in the script file. I'll just save this file. Next I'll open AutoCAD. I'll give script command. And I'll choose demo.scr file. You will see the first slide now. After 5 seconds, the second slide will appear. Okay, then the third slide will appear. Likewise, you can see each slides in the given order. Now you will go back to the first slide because of the execution of the R script command. Okay. You can go out of the slideshow at any point of time by pressing the backspace key or by pressing the escape key in the keyboard. Now I'll press backspace to pause the script to go out of the script command. Now you are out of the presentation. At any point of time, suppose if you feel like you want to give more narrations at this point, you can give it and using a command called resume, you can resume the presentation from this point. Now you can see that the presentation starts all over again from this point. Likewise, you can pause the presentation using backspace or escape key and you can resume the presentation using the resume command. Now I'll press escape to go out of the script command. Now if you press F2 function key, you will get the text screen here and you can see the execution of all the commands which you have specified in the script file. Now I'll press F2 again to go out of this text screen. So this is the idea of script files in AutoCAD and this is how you conduct a presentation of slides. Hope this video has given you some useful insights in this topic. Thanks for your time. <laughs>